Until I'm dead and buried deep within a cemetery I will fight, never weary, I wanna be legendary And here we have him, Alex Marku. How are you, mate? How's things? How are you, mate? Vincenzo? Alex? Come on, Benny. Benny, 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 mate. Nice to see you and Thank you. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Pleasure. So Pleasure. we're here at Alex Marku. Fabulous warehouse sales. <laughs> you got to come down. <laughs> got to come down. That's a very interesting name to give it. Fabulous warehouse sales. I wonder where you got that from. Well, what do you reckon I got it from? <laughs> <laughs> where is it? We'll talk about that where later. Where is it? Where? What? Fabulous warehouse sale. Oh, <laughs> unit four, 22 key on parade, Tomo Stown. <laughs> yeah, Thomas Stown. Tomo Stown. Yeah. So come down. Tomo to everyone in the northern suburbs. I had a couple of Carlton people in just before that bought yeah. some, yeah. Who I you did, had? Actually. Joe Ganji came in and spent. Oh, calm person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. You, good you've Carlton had, people. Yeah. You've had a good. Actually, I've had a, I had Dominator here last week. Yeah. I, had a, I get a lot of the players here. Yeah. yeah. So you, good. Kudo's been here. Mate, yeah. you were you were like the opal male fashion, fashion man. You were. Yeah, yeah, with Jono. He loved it. With huh? Jono? Yeah. yeah. And the other boys? No. Uh, oh, and then Dacos oh, and yeah. Rainsy and Sammy Newman. They're so, from other clubs. Yeah, they're from, yeah. <laughs> they're from other clubs. <laughs> yeah, other clubs. Yeah, no, just me and Jono, actually. You yeah, and Jono. Yeah. You Fantastic. would have had a good time those those years. Hey, yeah. Rocco, we should find some uh, footage of some of those. Mate, old, I'd love to find it. Those opal we male I might look at that. We so might, we might have some on uh, YouTube or something. I reckon if you if you dig deep enough, you find it. Yeah. I reckon we'll find it. We might show some of that. Yeah, okay. You at your best. Yeah, my best. And you at your best. Yep. And the Don, he was at his best. But here, look, we're here because you did do some footy things that are that are got you some some praise and awards, yeah? Yep. yep. Yeah, for the Carlton Football Club. Triple premiership player. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. I'll at the age of it. what? It's the first one was at twenty one. Yeah. And then twenty three and twenty four. 23. Mate, you must have thought, how, how easy, easy this is this? Gig? Yeah, yeah, keep them coming. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, you, you don't, you realise how tough it is to win a premiership. Yeah. And especially one, but to have three, you know, is magnificent. Did you always play footy as a kid? Yep, always. My yeah. dad, my dad. Uh, now, who'd your dad bury for? He didn't bury for Carl. Fitzroy. He's we, a Fitzroy supporter. Yeah, and were you a Fitzroy supporter? Yeah. Oh, I was yeah. in the cheer squad. Were you? Yeah. Fitzroy Cheer Squad, Brunswick Street. Hey, Abel. now listen, like Angie and Cuda, did you keep going into the Fitzroy Cheer Squad even though you were playing for Carlton? No, no, no. <laughs> Angie used no, to no. go in the Cheer Squad while he was playing for Carlton. No. Yeah, in the Collingwood one? No. no. With Cuda? No. no, I used to get on the train, 12 years old, 13, yep. with my streamers yep. and my duffel coat and yep. go to the Brunswick Street Oval yeah. and watch I used to live Fitzroy. across the road. Did you? Yeah, my dad used to crack it because on the on the every Saturday they used to park in front of his driveway. So he used to stand out <laughs> oh. there with the shovel, make sure they don't park in front of his driveway. So I remember that. What ground. he should have done is what a lot of people do now and say, if you want to use my driveway, it's only twenty five bucks. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, true. That's it. That's it. So, so he used to go there. Yeah, he used to go there and cheer for the Lions. The Lions. But I would get on the train and come home. Yep. As quick as I can to watch on the winners. Yes. The on Channel 2, yeah, the ABC. The ABC. Seriously, they used to be called the professionals. You know who they were? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Carlton. Yes. Yeah, and I used to sit in front of the TV as much as I loved Fitzroy. They showed a lot of Carlton. A lot of Carlton. Yeah. And I used to think, oh, I'd love to play for this <laughs> one day. I'm not joking. <laughs> Did no, you seriously. think? Really? You know when you were playing as a junior, like 12, 13, do you think that... Oh, I can play for a, a VFL side. Did that cross your mind? Yeah, it, it did. And then I did something silly. I started, like a lot of kids do, started playing guitar and oh, rock yeah. band and and footy <laughs> sort of went to footy the wayside. Went, I thought it was going to be a rock went star. Went down in the pro. Yeah, yeah, went yeah. down in the... Which I never... You weren't a rock star, nah. just in a different, yeah. in a different thing. So, so what, what age was that? 
I was 16 then. I, really? I stopped playing footy. Really? Yeah. Totally stopped playing at 16? Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's guitar. about the time that most budding recruits would really get serious about football yeah, yeah, at 16, yeah. 17. No, I stopped. And then my dad's going, what the F and hell are you doing? <laughs> you know. Did you know that you were uh, zoned to Carlton? Carlton? Yeah. Living in Thomastown? Yeah. Most people at 16, 17 are getting more serious about playing football. And what, you, you decide that, nah, I, I want to chase girls and drive cars and... Yeah. And be a rock band. And, and be, be a, a rocker, a rock uh, be a rock star. Yeah. Bass guitar. Well, you're a rock star anyway, really, yeah. Yeah. in the eyes of Carlton supporters. Yeah. But yeah, at yeah. 16... Yeah. So I started playing... What would you play? Get, bass. Oh, you're a bass oh, player. bass guitar. Play. And we started playing at socials and used to have the big town hall functions on. Colin DeLutis used to run those. Oh, really? But you yeah. knew Colin back in those yeah, days? Yeah, very well. Big man. And what was he? Just Jeans or? West Coast. No, West Coast. Yeah. That's right. So we used to do all that. And I thought, how good is this, you know? Right. A lot of girls hanging around. <laughs> yeah, sure. You're the rock star. But I can't, only get possibly, so far as a I rock can't star. possibly imagine you being popular with the girls. <laughs> <laughs> so... Still at school, I was still at high school at the time, and I was walking home with one of my mates, and he said, uh, I'm going to go and play football. <laughs> I said, really? He goes, why don't you come and play? I said, no, 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 I'm going to be a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, just come and have a kick with us, you know, and I did. I yeah. went down to Thomastown, yeah. r- rather than yeah. Layla. I was li- living in Layla, but I went to Thomastown, yeah. and I was... Under 19s by this stage, I was a bit too old to play under 17, so under 19s, and I yep. played nine games. With Thomas Town. Yeah, Newton Chandler. Yes. Remember him? Yes. He came down to see me and said, son, we want you at Carlton, and I've just gone... I've only no played. relation to Neil Chandler? No, 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 no but he mm. was very well respected there. And then Arthur Moxon, I don't know if you remember him, mm. he was one of the crews. No, I'm not that old. And then, <laughs> and then the one who got me to Carlton was Chris Pablo. Yes, he, he might re- remember yeah. very well. He started knocking on my dad's Great door. Great man, Chris. Yeah. yeah. And my Were you dad excited? W- oh, 100% like, I was excited. But my when dad, you first heard it? Yeah. So it was your, your, your Macedonian background? Yeah. So was your dad a bit more sort of anti well, VFL football back then? Or, no, he loved it. Oh, he did? Oh, no, he's, 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 he wasn't pushing it. you to go and play soccer or anything no, like that? No, no, he was VFL, AFL all the way. I thought he might have been trying to get you to play for Preston... Macedonia. Ma- Macedonia, no, yeah, yeah, or whatever no, they no, call no, them. No. Mac- no. Macedonia, basically. No. Um, no. So Chris Butler knocked on the door. Yep. And my father said, get away. Yeah, I don't want my son to play football because at Carlton they'll be thrown. He'll be thrown to the wolves, and he's still not mature enough to. Right. And Chris said, "I promise you." My dad's name was Arthur. He goes, yeah. "I promise you, I will look after him." And yeah. my dad said, "All right." So I went down there. Take him. Yeah. The thing was, though, guys, <laughs> I went down there, and I was like 18 years old at the time, and to walk into this. Club yeah. mm. into this environment where you've got Jezelenko, Duel, yep. Percy Jones, Southby, Mackay, yep. McClure. I was going, what the hell am I doing here? Yeah. You know, like, I really. And, and this is what, 1976? Six. six. Yep. Yeah, 1976. <laughs> and so I you're just better at 18 years of age. Yeah. Yep. And they put me into the seconds. They yep. didn't play me in the reserve uh, in the under 19s because Chris said, "Look, that's right." Know, they put me in the twos with Peter Francis. You automatically wow. went from under 19. You didn't even play under 19. No, I didn't even Carl. play under 19. Just went straight into the seconds yeah, so because that? those days there you had to like. You? That's yeah. saying that they really must have rated you to play yeah. reserves straight away. Yeah, and at that time, I remember, I'll never forget the game. It was against Sydney Swans or South mm-hmm. Melbourne. South Melbourne. South Melbourne. And back me then. and Peter Francis ran out. Yep. This is the seconds. There was about 20,000 people screaming. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, mate, that's where I went. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. But both of us played all right. But back in those yeah. days, there was a big crowd to watch the yeah, reserves. Big, yeah, big yeah, Because they'd open the gates up at 11 o'clock. Yeah. I remember, you know, back in the days of going to Princess Park, that's what we'd do. We'd get out there at 10 o'clock and wait for the, 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 yeah, the gates to open. Yeah, you used to watch both yeah, games. Yeah. But uh, you'd watch both games. And, um, yeah, there's always big oh, crowds watching was. the reserves. Yeah. yeah. You play well. Do you remember what number you wore? No, I'd, oh, maybe 50, I think. That's yeah. it, number yeah. 50. Yeah, yeah, it was, 50. yeah, 50, yeah. yeah. But um, did I play well? Yeah, got a couple of kicks. 
I struggled. I think you're, no. I think you're uh, underselling yourself there. You're in the first yeah. game. I'm saying. Oh, in your first game? Yeah, yeah what do you think I'm talking about? Okay. Second oh, yeah. career. In general, yeah. generally, I think you played just, what, over 30 games in the reserves over a couple of years? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you but, did well. But what happened, Vince? I didn't think I'd belong there. So, yeah. I, I never went to training. After the really? F- yeah, I played <laughs> against. <laughs> sit- anyway, I went back Goodness to Thomastown, me. and the guys at Thomastown said, What are you doing here? He said, I said, I want to train with you guys. You can't. You're at Carlton now. You've got to go back there. Wow. <laughs> so I was hiding from my dad. And he goes, how's training going, Alex? I said, yeah, yeah, I'm going all right. He goes, are you getting a game? I said, nah, I'm just sort of training. You know, I'm not getting a game. Well, the club rang home. And they said, where is he? <laughs> he hasn't been coming to training. <laughs> oh, oh, Did man. the old man give it so to you? So you copped it from your old man? Oh, yeah, he, bad. <laughs> the, he goes, what the fuck are you doing? Give me a big smash. Mm. Anyway. Wow. Yeah. And then you and you won a did you win a B and F for the reserves? In seventy eight. Yeah. yeah. There you go. So yeah, they put me in the back pocket and just to give me confidence and yeah. And who, who was, was your coach? coach? Ah, yeah. very well, good. There you go. Who was your coach? Uh, Serge. He could play. Yeah. He could play. Was he yeah. a good coach? Because he only ever sort of stood in for the, yeah. the, the seniors was when they had all coach? of that commotion in 78. You would have been watching that from a distance. Yeah, Because the, the seniors yeah. had the, yeah. you know, Ian Stewart saga going yeah. on. And, yeah. and Serge actually stepped up and yeah. coached the seniors he, for a little while. I wouldn't say he was a good coach, but he had an aura about him which he had to respect, yeah. as yes. Jezza did too. Correct. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. 78, I, yeah, like... I won the best and fairest, and yep. Jezalinko pulled me aside. You know, the, the season was done, and he called me aside in the pre-season, mm-hmm. and he said, look, you know, you're going to struggle to get a game. Um, oh, well, really? Yeah, is that what he said? Yeah, he said, you're not big enough, and you're not for us. We think you're a little bit too... Too slight? Too slight. In your build? Yeah, and okay. Essendon it was chasing me at that stage. Right. Essendon. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't know this until years later, Serge Silvani got up and said to the board, if this kid yes. goes... You're going to regret it. You, you, I'm going to leave the club. He oh, really? Really? Yeah. That's how much faith he had in yeah. Wow. Wow. So they kept me That's there. That's a huge, huge act of... Um, yeah, but I never knew this. I never knew this until years later. Oh, really? Oh, wow. So Jezza pulled me aside and said, look, we think you're slight. We want you to train, but you're going to struggle to get a game. So I went, it was oh, a good. There was a good bunch of. Oh, mate, <laughs> guns. The, That's all right. of them were fantastic. But Serge insisted that you get a game in the first round, didn't he? Uh, no, no. Uh, no. How did that happen? Tell yeah. Um, again, luck. How things happen is in the pre. There was one more match to go. Before practice match, yeah, we practice against Hawthorne. Yep, and then the we always played Hawthorne against, in practice matches. Yeah, 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 that was the last one at yep. Princess Park. Yep, Ashy got injured. Yep, Kenny Sheldon got injured. Wow. Jimmy Buckley got injured. Ah, uh huh. And they had no one to play. So, they... so Jezalenko came up to me and said, "Look." We've got no one else. This is your opportunity. <laughs> Jesus, we've got no one yeah, else. We've well, 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 got no one else. That's hardly a bit of confidence, yeah. is it? <laughs> this is your opportunity to, you know, show us what you've got. Yep. You know, you're playing against Hawthorne in the practice match. I went home to my dad and oh, told him. Oh, this is for the practice match, practice not, for match. Ra- not for round one. No, no, no. Oh, right. And he turned around and my dad was said, Al, you just gotta, Alex, you just got to show him what, what you've got. Of. Well, I kicked five goals in the <laughs> practice match. They couldn't drop me. No, no, no. no. So I played the first there you go. game against first. Essendon. And yeah. Jess Alonga came up to me before the game and said, son, whether you play good or not good, you've got six weeks. I'll give you six weeks to play wow. the seniors, which gives you heaps of That's confidence. Good. That's yes. good. You know, not, it's not in, out, in, out. Yeah. You just said six weeks you've yeah. got and... Lucky enough. So you can sort of build into it. That's the way they should do it, man. Not have to worry about I'm not going to get picked yeah, next week. Yeah. yeah. So isn't that good? Yeah. And you, so you were just free and you, and you started well. So this yeah, is the first year. half yeah. a dozen games of 79 he was promising yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then played 24 games, didn't miss one game and there played in the premiership. 
How good was that? Oh, the best. Hey? How is it? We've asked this. We are, we're, now it's become one of our questions, right? Yep. When you run out, right, the grand final, you come out, there's 100,000 people, the noise. Like, well, how do you feel? Like, what does that feel like? Like, I don't know. I don't even know what to well, say. Marco, like, it is the, it, to this day now, I drive my car, see customers and stuff like that. Yep. But even now I think about... You know, when right you run out to, and I'm getting shivers now, especially 79 when Jezelinko, mm. before he ran out, he said, look, guys, this is something you'll never, ever face, a grand final, and the roar of the crowd will yep. yeah. frighten you a bit. And I was running out with Harmsy, and I'll never forget it, as we run out, yep. the roar was... Like a oh, jet plane, oh mate! And your so whole did body. it inspire you, or oh, did it yeah. make you anxious and nervous? Yeah, and yeah, a bit of both, bit of everything. Harms and me actually just stopped after we ran on the ground. We just stopped and looked around because it was just to take uh, it all in. Yeah, yeah. and Jezza come up and slapped us across the face. <laughs> the two of us. I said, "Come on, boys, you know, enjoy, but concentrate." Mm. We got a job to do. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Because we've asked that of a few players, and some we've had different answers from everyone. You clearly sort of tried to take it all in, and were, were quite overcome with that, yeah. with that aura oh, of, of the hundred thousand people. Others have just said, "No, no, I was just focused. I yeah, had, yeah, uh, blocked yeah, all yeah. that out. I just ran out, concentrated on what I had to do." Yeah. So it's different for everyone. Yeah, different isn't it? for everyone. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but that yeah, you can't explain to someone mm. the 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 buzz, the feeling you get. It's Did you feel like you were a? I mean, you played every game of the year, so you probably did, but. I'll ask the question anyway. Did you feel like you were a permanent fixture in that team? Or were you still thinking week to week, oh, shit, if I don't perform this week, they could drop me? Or 100%. Really? Always, yeah. oh, if, you, if you look at the reserves list... Yeah, because it was a very oh, deep, deep mate, list, wasn't it? Oh, deep. Yeah. So there was always someone there... Yeah, that ready, could take your spot. Oh, 100%. But, that's, but that's, that makes such a difference. If you've got people like, mm. like going for your spot, I mean, you're not going to relax, Keep are you? On your toes. Never. No Keep way. On your toes. Yeah. And, and then even when you do play a good game and you think, shit, did I play well enough to keep mm. this bloke out? Because I yeah. always look at the reserves yeah. and see who played well and think, oh, shit, he played well. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to take my spot. Yeah. Take my spot. Yeah. Because I've said this, like, even though it's a team thing, right, but it's still an individual thing, oh, it is. isn't it? Rocco, it you're is. thinking about yourself, yeah, aren't you? 100% are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. did you come off uh, the ground sometimes and say, oh, I didn't kick a goal today? Yeah. And think, oh, geez, you know, my, my spot on the side is to kick goals on the forward pocket and a rover. And a rover, but, yeah, yeah. But did you feel like if yeah, you didn't I, get enough, enough of the ball and didn't 100%. kick a goal, shit, they could drop me this week? Yep. Yep, I did. Especially when you lost... And you had a mm. you know, crap oh, game. Yeah. yeah. I'd be going, oh. My fault. <laughs> yeah, and I'd be thinking, oh, Jesus. Did you train extra hard that following week? Yeah, you, you did. Yeah, yeah, you wanted to you know, put yourself in front of the coach. And from what say. I can gather, Jez was pretty hard on you when you oh. lost the game. Oh. And you only lost three that year, <laughs> yeah. 1979. He, he, I've never trained as hard as I did with that bloke. He uh, just... But he got you all very, very fit, didn't he? he mentally, physically, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he was a gun. How was say. it? You win that first grand final. What's the first feeling? Is it relief? Is it what is it like? Is it, is it because that was a close game too, you know. Yeah, like, five points. And you were behind in all your grand finals yeah, that yeah, you won. Yeah. But five points, man. That was that that relief. Well, I don't oh, know. it was relief. It was euphoria, euphoria, joy. joy. Yeah. Everything. Not believing. Who was the just, first player you ran up to? Do you remember? Oh, I don't remember. No. I Actually, I don't remember. Yeah. No. Because I think you kicked. Did you kick? I goal? kicked a point. A point was just before. To, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was going close. into goal. It was very close. The, yeah. Yeah. Did you did you have any part to play like so many other players claim to have a part to play in the Wayne Harms? <laughs> oh yeah, everyone. Get back in the. In everyone the, had a part to play play. in that. <laughs> Mm. We did Jimmy Buckley last week, and he said, "Oh, he wouldn't, he wouldn't have done that if I didn't pass." But he did. <laughs> no, he but did he pass did. it. He did. No, no, well, he, he actually tapped it. Tapped it, it. Tapped yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. And then he Kenny Sheldon, of course, gets yeah. the goal. Yeah. And, yeah. and we had. Um, no, no. I think oh. it was Wayne Johnson said, "Oh, look, I saw Kenny Sheldon running all that stuff, and I was too stuffed. I couldn't be." Or that could have been me kicking the goal. He said, "Otherwise, I could have done it." I was on the wing, and I saw Harms. I was going to say, did you see? And I've looked at it, and I've just gone. 
it's going to go out of bounds. <laughs> Seriously. Because the kick was so bad, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. And then I'm looking at him and I'm going, what He's running right after it. And he's run after it and bang, yeah. and it locked to me. I've just gone, what? And yeah, we kicked crazy. the goal. Yeah. It, it is something that's going to be in Carlton uh, folklore. Nah, that was, well past when we've left this that planet. Wa- yeah. In that a grand was. final against Collingwood, you mm. know, like win by five points. I mean, you, c- you can't no. get better than no. that. That he, was like, and that was what he did was in mm. like. M- not many people can do that. No, it's no. inspirational. No, inspirational. Yeah, yeah oh, no, he was a good player. He was a good oh, player. Done. So, you've won a, a premiership in your first year of senior football. You're only 21 years of age. How did you celebrate that night? Do you remember? <laughs> Because this is before the 81-82 yeah, trip yeah, to, yeah, yeah. To, to Canberra. How do we celebrate? Well, I got very drunk. <laughs> and I don't remember a lot of it. I do remember... You know, remember Dickie Merton? Uh, no. Oh, Dickie L- Merton was a my time. huge boy. Yeah. He used to be in the meat game. Yep. Yeah. And that's where Bucks used to work for okay. Dickie. Yep. And I rem- all I remember is we're coming down the stairs together and he was very drunk and I was very drunk. And it was at the end of the day, end of the night, after celebrations, and he's fallen <laughs> and taking me down the stairs at the old social club. <laughs> yeah. Mate, he's landed on my head, fair oh, no. all this big weight on me. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, so you I would have been re- doubled your weight. He, oh, more. Yeah. I don't yeah. remember it. Oh, so, yeah. so the other two grand finals, I never yeah. got as drunk. So I can no. remember the so whole... So you can remember it a bit yeah, more. Yeah, a bit more experience, yeah. yeah. And then, of course, not too, lo- not too much longer, there's all this upheaval at the club with George Harris, Harris. being voted yeah. out as president yeah. and Alex Jeselinko leaving because he was loyal to Harris. And how did, how did that feel all of a sudden? You know, Jezza, who was your coach and mentor yeah. and hero, probably. Yeah, hero, um, yeah, 100%. All of a sudden he's gone, gone. And, and they put Percy Jones in as the coach. How did you feel then? Shock. Yeah. It was disappointing. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, I still see Jezza now. We, yeah. You know, like every couple of months we'll have lunch together. And even now he said we could have won four grand finals in a row yeah. if have. I was there. Yeah. Could have, yeah. 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 Unfortunately, My what worst. happened, you know, goes, but yeah, I had to stick Do you think he regrets leaving? I th- in hindsight, think, now, yeah, I probably do. think it is. But but he's very loyal like that, and he was loyal to George. I was going to say that's uh, he was loyal, man. Yeah. He said I'll go. Yeah, and he, he was, left. In, yeah. in, that was a, that was a, an instance where someone showed loyalty to a person above and beyond the club. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's the only thing I felt strange about that is that we ultimately say that the club is more important than the individual. Yep. But on on that occasion, Alex felt so strongly about his uh, pledge of loyalty to George Harris that he said, if, the, if he's no longer president, I'm out of here. Yeah. yeah, and you're right. His loyalty yeah. Yeah. to George Harris was... Yeah. Was amazing. Amazing. Uh, he mm. went over to St Kilda. Yeah, which didn't... Work. No, it didn't work out. But if that didn't happen, you say, and then you had like... You mm. had a good year in 1980. You finished, I think, in the top or whatever yeah. you finished. Second. Second. And then you ca- you go out straight sets, and you had a few injuries. Yeah, we I had think. a few injuries, yeah. 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 But if that didn't happen, you know, Percy Jones, you probably wouldn't have got David Parkin. That's true. And but Percy was... had won the premiership that year in 1980. I don't think you would have got David no, Parkin. You wouldn't have got Parkin. No, so the whole no, thing true. might not have been four premierships in a row anyway. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. Even if Alex had stayed yeah. on it, might yeah. not have been yeah, four true. So you get David true. Parkin. Now, he's a completely different coach, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Let's yeah. go on to that. So at the end of 80. You know, straight sets, Percy, Out. thanks, mate, but, you know, we don't need you anymore. <laughs> and all of a sudden, this bloke from Hawthorne comes around called David Parker. Did, yeah. did you know much about him? No, did nothing. No, not much at all. He, um, he, um, uh, he, he wanted... He got appointed coach. Uh, he got us up into the old social club, the George Harris stand there. Yep. And he was up... He, and we're up there before, pre-season. Mm-hmm. We're all having a drink. Yeah. A couple of blokes having a smoke. <laughs> yeah, and he's walked course. in. Because he's, he's a teetotaler. Right? He's a teetotaler. <laughs> he's walked in and he's fucking gone to the front of the yeah. um, dais there. And he's got up and he goes, have a look at you blokes. I've heard about you <laughs> party animals. <laughs> you drink. You do everything you shouldn't be doing. Yeah. He goes, I'm going to stop all this. Yeah. You guys are going to do exactly what I tell you. Like, and he was wow. really upset. Yeah. 
Everyone looked at him and thought, <laughs> Who the hell is oh, he? <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell are you? Yeah, you think you're the senior coach or something? Yeah, everyone started, kept drinking, <laughs> not listening to yeah. not listening to him. Oh, that'd and be then right. We, he, 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 he got pulled aside by a couple of the commitment Wesloffs and said, listen, yep. these kids and these guys can play football. D- d- don't, just let them do what they're doing and everything will evolve. Yeah. yeah. And two other premierships back to back. It kind of was, a, I reckon you, well, there's a bit of a happy medium, wasn't there? He yeah. kind of let you do things. He wasn't too happy. You'd go out drinking, yeah, but yeah. you trained hard. I trained hard. And you played hard. Yeah. That's the thing, isn't it? I mean, you had that reputation. You trained hard, you played hard, and you partied hard. hard. We did. But Mark McClure said this, but when it was time to switch on, yep. you guys really switched on. We did. And, and uh, Vince, I'm very honoured yep. to be sitting here with you two blokes, but to be a Carlton player and a premiership player. Yeah. And I love the guys I played with. Yeah. To yeah. this day now, yeah. we It's talk, amazing how yeah. close you guys oh, are. We're still like this now, all yeah. of us. Yeah, I know. I've, I've said it all the time that you guys in the late 70s and early 80s, that three yeah. premierships in four years era, yeah. you guys are the, closest, the, 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 the most closely knit bunch of guys that played in those three premierships that I've ever witnessed at Carlton. Yeah. By a long way. Yeah. And even Dipper. and the others are still close, like in '87 or '95, and and even in the the late '60s, early yeah, '70s. Yeah. yeah, they're close too. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, you guys yeah, had yeah. some amazing chemistry yeah, yeah. and camaraderie between us. Yeah, Dipper says that too. He yeah. says, "Look, you know, I've played in five grand finals, but you know, you blokes, you guys. yeah, the, your camaraderie." He goes, yeah. "We're not like this. You know, yeah. you blokes are like." Yeah, nah. What you what you were very clever at doing was letting Parco think that yeah okay Parco we'll do what you say yeah but then you know, boys let's all go over to Norton's oh, hotel yeah, and have a few yeah. drinks yeah and then when we got caught at Norton <laughs> came in one day we're all standing there drinking <laughs> after a training session he's coming and go right <laughs> he didn't really come out. in yelling yeah yeah <laughs> everyone out get out. <laughs> So McClure's gone, oh, well, he knows where we're drinking. Yeah. We'll go somewhere else now. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to the Kent Hotel. The, the in Fenwick. Oh, we the Fenwick. Fenwick. Yeah. We went around to the Fenwick. North Carlton there, yeah. just yeah. off Rathdown Street. Yeah. Yeah. Or the, the other one was the Royal Oak, wasn't it? The Royal Oak. Yeah, Nicholson yeah, but Street. the Fenwick we used to go a lot. Because it was sort of hidden away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You could have someone to, uh, keep an eye out as yeah. to who's walking yeah, in. Yeah. But he used to call you on a Friday night, didn't he? Yeah, Friday, every yeah, when Friday night. did you night. get your phone call? Because Peter Bazzasto was always the last one because he was. In he Perth. took till after. No, 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 because he took after 10 o'clock to get back from Mooney Valley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the trots the back buzz, then. Yeah, buzz, yeah. So when, when did your phone call he, come? He in? would alternate. He'd do it early sometimes, he'd do it late other times. So And you have to be home. It's not like you have mobile phone. No, no, you have to be home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so like Friday night, that was one way to make sure that you blokes were yeah, home, yeah, is yeah. that you had to get your phone call. Yeah, and Mario. Bought Bought uh, yeah, God, God bless him. his soul. Yeah, he, he lived with me too. And yeah. Is that right? Yeah. yeah and he, a... um, yeah, we, we'd sit around just waiting. Did you go out after that? Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to play at 2 o'clock the next day. What time did you have to be at the ground for a 2 o'clock? Yeah. Oh, about 11. So 11 o'clock when the reserve started? Yeah. You guys start rolling up? Yeah. 11 ish? Yeah. Did you watch the reserves yeah, before? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you even yeah, before the sit, game, yeah, you sat out in the stand and watched yeah, them? Yeah, yeah, for, for a quarter, a quarter and a bit. Wow. Well, and yeah. then start getting ready. They don't yeah. do that these days? No. Nah. nah. So No, they don't, no. <laughs> so you get your phone call and tell us a little bit about what was said in these phone calls. Oh, he'd just say to you, um, all right, Alex, you're playing, you're starting on the bench today or you're playing in the forward pocket or you're going to start right on, you know, you're going to start in the middle. Yep. You know, uh, we want you to... Did uh, he tell you who your opponent was going to yeah, be? Yeah, he'd tell yeah. you who the opponent was. You know, it wasn't like the game plan. But did he give you any strategy as to what he wanted you to do in terms of we want you no. to hold back or you know, do this? No, not like, no not like these No days. strategy. It no, was all just go yeah. in and get the ball and play yeah. footy as you, as you like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, there wasn't no, not much strategy. That way. And what about the post-game reports that used to come yeah, in? Yeah, in retrospect. In retrospect. <laughs> I love yeah. that. Yeah, I've got a few at home. Have yeah. you? I reckon they, they'll be, be worse. That'd be great to see. Yeah, they, they were fantastic because everyone 
would want to see what he said about you because yeah, yeah. that way yeah. you know if you're playing next week. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it was either excellent, very good, yeah. good, fair, bad. <laughs> so if you got fair or bad, you're yeah, in a you bit think, of trouble. Fuck, what in trouble? Well, <laughs> because he was a school teacher, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah. So oh, he marked yeah. you like a school it's teacher. Parker does. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> Both um, David Parkin and Robert Walls, very much school teaching <laughs> type background. Yeah. Very much school teaching. Or lecturers or... Yeah, yeah. Mm. So in, in retrospect, he, he was ahead of his time. Yeah, because he was. You know, he had his kick and the yeah. statisticians he had there, but kicks, handballs, yeah. uh, the run pass, how many times yeah. you ran pass to get a yeah. handball, yeah. your one percenters, yep. your tackle. Shepherds, tackles. Every, oh, mate, he had wow. everything there. Wow. Smothers, all Smart, that sort everything. of stuff. Wow. Everything. So it was a very analytical and, and sort of um, meticulous approach to assessing your game and then also in planning for the, for the week ahead yeah. as to who you're going to play. Yeah. He must have spent so many hours doing this every week, eh? Every player? Never, that's amazing. Yeah, every player. I know. He would not sleep. That's what he was like. He, he'd go to bed 2, 3 in the morning. He, he was did, very he did say that. passionate yeah, he did say and that. committed yeah. and yeah. almost obsessive, really. Yeah, about. obsessive. He was obsessive. Yeah. But then he made him a coach. great coach. Oh, all paid coach. off. Okay, oh, that's back all, to that's back. All, that's back all well and good to have all of that analytical style, but communication's the most important part and of coaching, was, I would have thought. He was, How good was he at that? Oh, fantastic. He'd make your hair stand up on your back. He was yeah. that good. Was it the speech type yeah. delivery yeah. or was it the one... What about the one-on-one stuff with you? Did he spend much time with you one-on-one -on -one or with any of the players? Not really. It was more of a, an addressing of the whole group all yeah, the time? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, and in front of the group, he'd pick out, yep. you know... a. You know, or Alex, you know, you got to run a bit harder today or we yep. want you to yep. nullify this bloke. But it was all mostly in front of the... Yeah. Did he ever dress down someone in front oh, of the all group? the time. Really? Yeah. You can't do it these days. No. You can, no, nah. no these days, mate, if no, you do that... Happen, if you do that, they go in the corner yeah. and want to cry. Yeah. That, <laughs> Give me my safe space, please. That's true. I'm, you know, yeah. I've been, true. I've been yeah, bullied no. by my coach. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, no. True. Yeah, no, that's yeah, called yeah. millennials. Yeah. Mm. So you so. get 81, 82, we win premierships, you're a star, right? And then let's, let's, come on, let's be serious. I want to know what happened. You go to the lodge. How do, you, how do you first get invited to the 81 lodge? What, the Prime Minister just came up and said, you're coming over to the yeah. lodge? Yeah. That's it. Let's, yeah. let's refresh <laughs> our, our viewers on who we're talking about here. Malcolm uh, Prime, Fraser. Prime Minister at the time was Malcolm Fraser. Yeah. Uh, Liberal Prime Minister, yep. and um, he was the number one ticket holder, holder. at Carlton. Yep. So, and so, how did this come about? Just before the game started? He or? was in the change room. Really? Before the grand final? Yeah. And what did wow. he say? And <laughs> we were about to run out, and Parco said, look, you know, before you run out, the Prime, the Prime Minister here. wants to... Have you spoken to him before or ever seen no, him? Never, Nothing. No, no, so he's no. the first time like... First you. time. Did any so, of the boys not even know who he was? Oh, Some of the younger no. ones? I reckon you know. Yeah, you would know. You yeah, would yeah. know. He was okay. a big... He was he's a like a... Big, he's yeah. a six foot four. Yeah. He's a big boy. Yeah. So, you know, we were about to run out and he said, yeah. boys, if you win today, I'll yeah. personally fly you up to the lodge with your partners and wives. Uh, That's what he said to us. And, and, and we'll have a party. Yeah, we'll have a party. So we've Imagine gone out there and won and Just there was a little jet bit waiting for us at Tullamarine on Monday. So how did you feel when you're 20 points down in the third quarter against Collingwood in 1981 and you're thinking to yourself, damn, it doesn't look like we go to the lodge? Or did you yeah. say, no, nah, we've, we've got to score some goals quickly here, boys? You know what, Vince? I wasn't even thinking about the lodge. We were just thinking about you, winning. You, at that point on, you outscored them by about seven goals to nothing. Yeah, yeah. you're right. We're 20 points down and, yeah, we outscored them in the last Did anyone re remind you of this at three-quarter time? Hey, this Jimmy boys. Bucks. Did he really? Jimmy Buckley said something. He said to us as we were walking in to the... I want to go up to Canberra, boys. No, no, no. No, no, no. no it wasn't about the lodge. He's walking oh. in, and he was the last one to kick a goal in, in that last quarter. Yep. In the he third was. quarter. In the third quarter. Yep. And he's come in, and he's gone, boys, have a look at them. We've got them. He goes, have a look at their huddle. And we're looking at the huddle, and they're all arguing between each other. Yes. Yeah. And he goes, we'll beat this side. Wow. And then he got Park and rev started revving us up, and then yeah. we've come out and kicked like seven goals. Yeah, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a that. great grand final. Yeah, no, great grand. Bruce Dool, Norm Smith medalist. My dad always How'd said that feel to play alongside him. <laughs> well, that day, my dad said you should have won the Norm Smith medal. He goes, you had thirty-three possessions. You did. You <laughs> killed it. 
he goes, I know they gave it to Dooley, he goes, but in my mind, he goes, yep. you should have won it. Yeah. You had a fantastic game. Yeah, yeah. I had a ripper game. You started on, you were named on the bench, bench, but you had over 30 possessions. Yeah. Kicked a couple of goals? No, no, no goals. I gave heaps away. Oh, <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, is that what it was? Okay, well, maybe if you had a kick, a couple, that might have helped. Yeah, because yeah, it, it's yeah. amazing when they look at it and go, oh, well, he's kicked uh, no goals. Oh, How yeah, can we yeah, give yeah, him yeah, a... You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, but Dooley, t- mate, he's he a gun. He did the team things, yeah. He's a gun. He's like... He's oh, mate, he's my idol. See, even Wayne Harms reckons that he shouldn't have got the North Smith medal in 1979. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, he believed he wasn't the best player and they probably, like... But okay, because a of that of act, sympathy because he was uh, uh, the yeah, grandson, yeah, yeah, he always yeah, says yeah, that. Yeah. But Smith's grandson. Yeah, but that act uh, that deserved it. Yeah, Just but he had a good game. Yeah, yeah, he also had a good game. Yeah, he yeah, took some key marks. marks. In the yeah, center, yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. No, that's that. how he always landed on his feet. Yeah. He Ma- just never fell over yeah, that. Yeah, Mark McClure, if you ask Mark McClure, the best player he's ever seen. Pound for pound. Pound for pound, he'd say Harmsy. Yeah. He would. I say it. He's a modern day. You know, they talk about Dusty and all that. He did everything yep. all these players do now. Yep. He did it then. He would take high marks, yep. right? Yep. Land on his and feet. And he wasn't very run, tall. Kick. He played forward. He, he played might. defense. Yeah. yeah, everywhere. Mate, that, Parkin used to put him center half forward. If we yeah. were losing yep. or well, struggling. He huh? Well, in 82, they moved him, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, he started yeah. forward and yeah. then he went back. Went back to stop Bartlett. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. But, you know, like at Princess Park, if we are getting beaten or struggling, yep. he'd say the harms would yep. get in the centre forward, mate. He'd jump, kick he goals. He was one of the original game changers. Yeah. yeah he right. was one of those ones that you could swing from yep. back to yep. forward. Yeah. I agree. I remember getting his footy card once and it said utility, and I said, what's, what's a utility? What are they saying? <laughs> that he lives in a ute or something? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what utility uh, was, but then I found out there was a guy that basically you can swing do anything. everywhere. He's a yeah. swing man. Yeah. You can put him back forward, Gun. on the ball. Yeah. Mate, we had so many guns. I'm yeah. so lucky to play in... And Madeira. let's just quickly review that. 81 and 82, they were really good years for you too. Oh, and, they were. Um, of course, you know, back-to-back premierships. Yeah. Mate, three premierships in four years. You're mm. only 24 years of age. You must have thought... How good is this? How, how good is this? And you know what? What? They don't come very often. No, no. no. So you're lucky to get them, you yeah, know. Yeah, like, yeah, you were yeah. lucky to get them. And you were lucky... Not you were lucky to win them. As I said, you were behind in all those... They could have easily you gone the other way win. around. Yeah, yeah. You worked hard yeah, to win those yeah. three grand finals. Yeah. Oh, 100... Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah all of us. Yeah, 100%. And, and all the Richmond one, yeah, mm. we were underdogs. Like, they, yes. flogged, they flogged us in but a second. kicked the first three goals in, like, a couple of minutes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then... Set it up. Again, Mario Bortolotto. Yes, a great move to put him on... David Cloak. David Cloak. Shut him down. Yep. Mate, he, yeah, like, he, he played a big part. Role of, players. They yeah. played their role. They weren't necessarily, you know, yeah. big stars or, yeah. you know, did anything spectacular, but boy, did he do his job well, yeah. eh? And then you got the Dominator, <sighs> finals player. Mate, every time oh. I come to finals... Parkin like reckons he's, a... he's the, by far and away the best finals player he's ever seen. Yeah. Gun. Wayne Johnson. And even, yeah. at, even in 87, when he was like 500 years old. No, right? he wasn't. No. You know what I mean? Yeah, even at, 30, he yeah. went over to 87, like yeah. he's near the end of his career. Yeah. He had another great game. Yeah. Kicks the first two goals yeah. of the game. Yeah. Like, yeah. like yeah. he just can't stop him. Yeah, mate. He's. Yeah. Another game changer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 100%. So, anyway, you're in the jet, right? Do you believe that you're in the jet and you're going off to Canberra? Was this a, was this a plane that was just with you guys on Yeah, it? just with us. <laughs> a private so, it was jet. a private jet. Yeah. Was, the, was it a government <laughs> oh, aircraft or was it a. Vince, I can't remember. Like now, a but it was commercial just, aircraft. Just it was them. just us. Like, like NSET and TAA me, back in those days. Me and Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> so, and the rest so you're of allowed to be your partner. So, obviously, you didn't have a wife or a girlfriend. No, I didn't so. have a girlfriend. And I was sitting so, tell next us to a bit about this girl, Fabulous. How did you know her? And what, how did you come to invite her? Well, Peter McConville, I was, he was number 33, I was number 34, and he just said to me, what are you going to do? You know, are you bringing anyone up? I said, well, I've got no one. And he goes, what about that girl you bought to the footy a couple of times? Fabulous. And I said, yeah, all right. oh, yeah, a ring. <laughs> so I rang her and... What a bonus well, for her. She said, she, yeah, I'll come yeah, along for a bonus. No. She said, where's the lodge? What is it? <laughs> I said, the lodge. Canberra. Yeah. He goes, yeah, I'll come up. And yeah. that's like the most... Was she a bit of a party girl back then? She was, yeah. yeah. Okay. 
So you weren't girlfriend and boyfriend, but you were just yeah, yeah, known quite, to each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, known yeah. to each other. That's good. She, so you had, she was, yeah, good, she was yeah, from yeah, a good time. You know how she got her name? Peter McConville. Really? I, I told her. I met her one day and we sort of yep. used to see each other. I, yep. You know, she'd ring me and she goes, what do you do? Mate, if she sees this, <laughs> <laughs> Nah, she won't Don't worry, we only go to about five, <laughs> five million people yeah, worldwide on that. this show. And she'd say... Um, Oh, look, after the footy train, because we had no mobile phone, she would say, look, after the footy train, if you want to come past my place, I'll cook you some dinner. And mm. yep. So anyway. Watch some TV. Yeah, yeah. watch some TV. <laughs> and I used to go to training. <laughs> and Mac, I go, what did you do last night? I go, oh, I went and saw the girl. And mm -hmm. he goes, and what? And I go, and I tell him this and that. And he goes, fuck, that's fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so right, he right. knew her as well. So, no, no, no. He didn't. He said fabulous. Anyway. Oh, he I said. Oh, oh, he that's described fabulous. it. Oh, fabulous. Okay, right. Eh? So I took her yeah, to the football. A couple of weeks later, I took her yeah. to the football. Yeah. And I said, "Do you want to come to the footy?" She goes, "Yeah." yeah. So I took her to the football, and the first person I was introducing her to Peter. was yeah. Peter. <laughs> and I said, "Peter, this is." And he goes, "Fabulous." <laughs> She's gone, what? And that just stuck it's from stuck. that moment on. It's stuck. Everyone called the fabulous. Do you actually remember her real name? I do. You don't have to say it I'm here. I'm not going to say it. No. But you do remember yeah. her. Yeah. Oh. But, but you've never told anyone her real name. No, you just said nah. fabulous. But yeah. sometimes you know how nicknames nah, are. Like, right. I've got mates who I call, like, nicknames. I, I, I can't, I don't remember their names. It's yeah. been that long that we've been calling them a nickname. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's, yeah. yeah I'm the same. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's Well, good. your nickname, of course, back when you were playing was Marcel. Yeah. And for those people who don't know what we're talking about, how did that come about? Um, there was that Jack, French... Yeah, Marcel um, Marceau. Marcel Marceau. But Jack Dyer couldn't pronounce my last name. He used to call me Marceau. <laughs> <laughs> and Alex Marceau's got the ball. And, and, oh, and then it went on oh, to... Yeah, yeah. And Barry Armstrong yeah. says, oh, Marceau, huh? <laughs> Marcel Marceau. <laughs> and then Marcel stuck. Oh, that that's stuck funny. Stuck I didn't too. know that. That's yeah, funny. Yeah, he couldn't yeah. pronounce your name. Nah. Unbelievable. That's start, unbelievable. Yeah. And then... Um, uh, Goodness me. Yeah, so that would have been good. You go over. I still can't believe you're in a jet all of a sudden. And um, from only a couple of years ago when you're playing in the, at Tomo. Yeah, yeah, oh, A yeah. few years back you're playing at Tomo and yeah, then all of a sudden yeah. you're in a jet and you're um, you're shaking hands with the Prime Minister. Yes. But he was a massive current supporter. Oh, massive, massive. And, and his wife, Tammy, was an absolute ripper lady. Well, yeah. tell us, because I've heard this before. So Fabulous has a little bit of an accident. Yeah. And then, so... You've got just to bring her to the hospital, don't you? Hang on, yeah, hang on. Yeah. Before, just, let's just refresh everyone's memory here. So you're at the lodge, and how did this accident happen? Well, she got pissed, the old fabulous. <laughs> yeah. She was so excited. She went that to the toilet, was, didn't she? Yeah. yeah. She was so excited. She goes, oh, I've got to have a piss. Where's the toilet? I said, <laughs> over there, under the, <laughs> at the lodge, yeah. there was two sets of toilets she didn't under say, these I big I the restroom. No, no, no. <laughs> she no. She's from piss. Reservoir. <laughs> So I said, there, you've got to go under the... Anyway, she's yeah. come out after she's done the yeah. bizzo and... Down the stairs, isn't it? Yeah. She's sort of started walking up the stairs to go, hey, boys, I'm yeah. here. And yeah. slipped and hit the deck and broke her ankle. Broke her ankle. And... Yeah. Uh, and that's then... another story. And, yeah, then she, and, and she yelled out at the time? Yeah. You said, you said, what the hell have you done? And what did she say? I broke her my fucking ankle. <laughs> <laughs> so I go... Fucking it. <laughs> yeah. yeah so right. Tammy Fraser's down there on the floor with her. So the I'm Prime thinking, Minister's wife's trying yeah, to help her. I'm going, yeah. fucking this is out of control there. <laughs> was she in pain? She was she oh, in yeah, excruciating pain? Yeah. Oh, yeah, bad. Were you spewing? You're going, oh, bloody hell. Are you reckon my night? <laughs> I, I was. <laughs> <laughs> so Tammy goes, who belongs to this woman here? <laughs> I said, me. And she goes, come down here. <laughs> so the wheelchair's come out. <laughs> We've thrown her in the wheelchair, in the limousine. <laughs> You're thinking going, to yourself, I was about to oh, have a good fuck, night with I'm her. I'm going to have a good night. I've got to go to the hospital with this thing here. And she's screaming. <laughs> so Tammy's there, Fabulous is here, and I'm here. Yeah. And I'm thinking, this is not happening. I wanted to have a good time. Anyway, yeah. we've gone to Canberra Hospital, straight into emergency. Yeah. And Tammy Fraser's gone to me, Flex, take the limo back. I'll look after Fabulous. You go and party. I went, oh, how nice is that? She goes, yeah. I went, oh, beautiful. <laughs> I didn't have to ask twice. So I said to the bloke, I said, the driver, John, I said, come on, Johnny, we're going back to the lodge. Yeah, back to the lodge. 
So yeah. you missed out on having a girl with you that night, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, you, drink, you drank with all the boys. Yeah, I no drank doubt. with all the boys. And she came at the end. All, oh, she came back? Yeah, all with and crutches all patched and up, patched yeah. up and everything. And unbelievable. On the plane. Mm. And Tammy looked after her the whole time. whole time. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable, huh? It is, it is. Now, just again, refresh our memories. It didn't just stop there, did it? Because when you were back in Melbourne, oh, you got a phone oh, call at yeah, home. Yeah, 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 yeah. What happened there? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're still celebrating. Yeah. And uh, there was Peter McConnell. This McCormick is one or two days later, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Peter McConnell and Kenny Sheldon in a car and they're bipping the horn. Yeah. I'm about to run out <laughs> of my own little place in Thomastown. Yeah. And the phone's rung, the landline. And I've gone, oh, who's this? So I've picked it up <laughs> and I've gone, hello. And she goes, yes, this is uh, Tammy Fraser from the lodge. I said, get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, yeah, it is Tammy Fraser. I said, Fuck, if that's Tammy Fraser, I'm Bob Hawke. Who the fuck is this? She goes, Alex, this is Tammy Fraser. I'm just ringing to find out how fabulous his ankle went. That was, I went, oh, fuck. So Tammy, she so called sorry. her fabulous too. Yeah, she called her fabulous. <laughs> I said she called her that is the best. Oh, the Prime Minister's wife. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Well. She goes, no worries, Alex. Just wish her all the best. This girl you. must have loved being called fabulous because you didn't correct anyone and say, no, my no. real name is. No, no, no. No. She, no. she was quite happy to be called fabulous. Well, they, everyone called her fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic. Wow. Yeah, so story. that would have been, look, apart from winning the premierships, I mean, there's some good memories there, isn't there? Mm. Oh. There's some good memories. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? 100%. It's all about yeah. man. You can you can win the you can get the money and all that, but the memories that you guys have because Wayne yeah. Harm says exactly the same thing. Yeah, he goes. He showed me the. Oh, you were there. He showed us the premierships and the yeah, yeah, He goes. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. what it's all oh, about. hundred percent. Look, every player that plays football these days, as much as the money's fantastic. Yeah. What what do they all want? A premiership. Of course. Or else what are we doing here? Yeah, what are we doing here? Yeah. And, you know, I look at it now and watch the game and, you know, you watch the Essendons and the St. They're all out there as much as they like the fame. At yeah. the end of it, they want that premiership. Yeah. Because yeah. now you've got your reunions. Yeah. And you all get together. Like, n- losing grand finals don't have reunions. It's only no. the winning people, yeah, right. you know, and that's what brings you even closer yeah. together. Yeah, Rocco, Renee Kink's a good friend of mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said... He's played in six losing grand finals. Oh, my. He goes, it scarred me for life. Can I just say something? I think that was five with Collingwood and And one one with with Essendon. Essendon. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just say something to all the Collingwood supporters? Unlucky! (laughs) (laughs) But, yeah, no, I know. You know what I mean? And he goes, we don't see each other. Mm. We we don't have reunions. We don't do any of that. No, you wouldn't. Which you're right, Rocco. Yeah. Yeah. That's where we're lucky. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Now... Let's just quickly go over some of the latter years. You, you still played pretty good football through the mid-80s, 83, 84, 84 85. 85. I know we didn't play in any grand finals, but we were still in the finals. Yeah, and we could have, yeah, with a bit of luck, we could have got a couple there. Mm. 86, I... 86, we saw the change from Park and went to, to Fitzroy. Yeah, and Walsey came and in. And Robert Walls came back to Carlton. And, yeah. and how did you find that change? Like, there was a... An influx of new players from South Australia and Western Australia and one or two yeah, from other yeah, clubs. Yeah, and uh, a couple from the country. Yes. The, okay. Walls. Where did that place guys like you oh. and Kenny Sheldon and Jimmy Buckley, Buckley and Roddy Peter Ashman and Peter McCall, so all the So some of them had to make some choices, didn't they? Well, at the end of that year, uh, end of 86, Vince uh, Collo got me into the room and said, mm. look, you know, we want you to stay here but your opportunities will be limited limited yeah. because we want to bring up younger kids yeah. and you know blood them and i thought well i love the club you were so young you wanted to see i was like you are oh well, you were still only 28. 28 yeah 28 yeah and a lot of players are in their prime like I know. patrick cripps has just turned 28 yeah. yeah so a lot of players were in their prime at that age, yeah. at that age yeah so so you thought, no, I, want to, I think I've still got some senior football left in me here. No, 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 no. I, I was happy to stay. I was saying to Rocco before this oh. morning, I said, I was happy to stay and play in the reserves. I loved Carlton. Oh. As I was walking right. out, Kenny Sheldon was out the front and he yep. said to me, he said, um, what did the prick say to you? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well... I gather Colo wasn't uh, <laughs> yeah. the most popular person He around. said, uh, it's <laughs> your, your time at Carlton, you know, it's going to be limited with senior games. And he said, he said that to me too. He goes, ah, fuck you. He goes, <laughs> he goes, 
we got more football left in us. He yep. goes, where I go, you go. Where you go, I go. We had no managers at the time. So yeah. we shook yeah. hands. Right. A, a day later, yep. Shane O'Sullivan was up in Brisbane, starting yes, the he, Brisbane Bears. He up. started with the Brisbane Bears. And yep. he rang me and he said, Alex, he goes, we've heard what's happened to you. Do you want to come up to Brisbane? We want to come up to Brisbane. We'll give you three a contract. And Mark McClure, by the way, had just finished his career as captain of the team in '86. Yeah. Obviously, captained us to a losing grand final, final. But then his playing career was just basically terminated. Yeah. And he went up to Brisbane as well as an assistant coach, coach. to Peter Knight. That's yeah? it. That's it. So did he have any sort of a part to play in that approach? No. 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 You know, it just Shano. He said. We'll give you three years. Starting a brand new team here? Yeah. Yep. Now, this is the cruncher. 130000 a year. But that's big money then. Big money back six. then. Now, Huge. what was that compared to what you were getting at Carlton? Uh, my best year in Carlton was about 65000 And they were giving you one thirty a year? A year. Double. So they doubled it up. Yeah. Far out. So yeah. why didn't you go? Why didn't you and Kenny and some of the other well, boys go? Well, I said to Shano, I said, Shano, I've made a packed with Kenny Sheldon, where he goes, I go, where I go, he goes. He said, yep. with all due respect, we don't want Kenny, we want you. Right. You've got to make a decision within two days. Loyalty. Look at that. You're yeah. loyal to your mate. Yeah. And then I rang him and said, look, I can't go. Yeah. I said, you know, I've told Kenny that yep. I'm going to go. And Kenny rang me a day later and said, I've got us a, uh, a club. I said, where are we going? He goes, St Kilda. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was a disaster. Look, hang on. Part of the reason why you guys all went to St Kilda is because you had all this premiership premiership experience and yeah. they were a young side with a, a few talented players like oh, Tony Lockett had a bit of potential. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, Danny Robert Frawley. Harvey just started Frawley. his career. Yeah, 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 there was a very good team in the making there. Nick Win- Nicky Winmar. Nicky Winmar, yeah. 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 Trevor Barker. Barker, he was a star. Stewie he was Lowe. still there at the time. Yeah. Stewie Lowe. Yes, he just started that year. Greggy Burns. There was a Mike. lot of great young that, players. But that, they were only at the start of their careers. Yeah, but the, the problem St Kilda had and was they got Daryl Bulldog as coach. Who, who, That's and he what I heard. never wanted to be a coach. No. Yeah. He went down there to help them yep. market themselves. But If they had have had a David Parkin down there at the time, imagine what that could, uh, what could, could have done be, for St Kilda. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. I Some agree. of the choices of these boards it does make you wonder. Because yeah. no. what I heard is that Daryl Baldock was sort of coach that just, you know, uh, talked a, a, a very, very generally for a short time and then was all off to the pub and have a few beers. Uh, uh, and is the right? horses. He loved and, his horses. Oh, and, and part on the horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah gambler. We, we, we played <laughs> Brisbane in a practice match up in Carrara yeah. and Brisbane beat us by a point. Uh, St Kilda. Yeah. We're on the bus. I was up the back with Kenny and Macca. We're having a beer going yep. back to the airport. Yeah. And Bulldog's coming up next to, uh, like, up the back of the bus. Yeah. And he sat next to me and he said, have you got a beer for me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he's having a beer. Yeah. And he said, you got another one? I said, yeah. And another one. And he's looking at me and he goes, you know, if I was serious about this coaching, I wouldn't be having a beer with no. you blokes. Yeah. No. When he said that to me, I thought, oh, we're yeah, gone that's here. We're gone. Yeah. We haven't got a yeah. coach. Well, if your leader's serious. not, like, not serious about it. Yeah. Like, but yeah, again, you know. that comes down to why we say to have a successful club, you have to have it from the top down. Oh, 100%. President, board, yeah. administration. Yeah. Yeah. If all of that's not in place... Yeah. With the right culture. Yeah. There's no chance you're yep. going to have any no. on-field success. No chance. Or it'll be limited to... Yeah. Yeah. You know. yeah. Because really, when you think about it, like Tony Lockett won the won the Brownlow medal that year. Yep. Uh, tied with Johnny Platten. Yep. From Hawthorne. Um, yeah. And we've just mentioned some of those names. They they, they, they had so much potential if so they were much. properly Rod coached. Rod Owen. We, we've yeah. heard about him. Yeah. Mate, that, but, but you guys, yeah. let's think about it. It was you, Kenny Sheldon... Wow. Peter McConville, Warren Wow Jones, Chicken uh, Nixon, yeah, Ricky Nixon, Nixon yeah. yeah, Ian um, Muller went Ian down Muller. who could play football, and Spiro, and Sp- sorry, Spiro, yeah, Gun. he's a good player. Oh, yeah. mate, one of the so best in the There was a players. lot of experience and 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 yeah. skill and yeah. know-how there. Yeah. yeah, did they utilize you oh, guys yeah, yeah. as well as they, as they could have? Uh, like you guys were quite giving in, in your oh yeah yeah in your attitude to, this day to helping. Stewie Lowe uh, yeah. says. The Carlton blokes helped him 
yeah. as a player. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of the younger kids. So it there. was the cultural side of what you brought to the table, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that that was where clubs like St Kilda just yeah. never ever. In fact, what five, six, seven years earlier, they were always on the bottom of the ladder. Yeah, always. Yeah. Every yeah. year, bottom yeah. of the ladder, St Kilda. I think it was just cultural. Yeah, yeah. I think that's got a lot to do with it. Hasn't yeah. It? So you played a couple of years there, and um, I've got to say. That mullet of yours. <laughs> we, should put up, hair, we should put up some no photos, Rocco, of Alex nah, with his mullet well, back in 1986. We, we, will, we will we'll put up photos. <laughs> we will put up photos. But uh, you know, boys, but you know, these days I've got to find. I've got to tell you. Yeah. You don't see any hairy footballers anymore. No, no, you don't. No, you I was don't. just going to say. No, the Mate, I, there are a few mullets. They call me a gorilla days. now. Fair <laughs> yeah. Actually, one of the things that you're very famous for, more than any other footballer I know. Is the hair on the arms? Yeah, and the yeah, shoulders. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you still got it. <laughs> a little bit. I'm landscaped now. Much. Ah, you're landscaped, of course, of course. Back the in those days, the you, had it, you had it growing like a jungle man. Yeah. <laughs> huh? So, at any point did you decide, I think I'll shave all this hair off my arms or what? Yeah, my first wife said, hey, come on now, you got to start getting into it. <laughs> <laughs> and then the second one said it. Yeah, the third one. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the opal male fashion used to cover up all yeah, that yeah. with all the yeah, nice you're shirts. Yeah, definitely a fashion. Like well, so was... it's been it's been good, but just quickly. Yeah. On uh, we don't know what game just played because mm. because uh, I don't know when this interview is going to go up. But oh. yeah, so we don't know which game. But let's just say, well, what do you think about the Blues mm. in twenty twenty three? Have they got have they, what it takes. Yeah, have they got what it takes? I know it takes a lot and there's a bit of luck and everything, but what do you think? I, 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 I think on the whole, we've got, and I think I spoke to you about this earlier mm. on, I think our forward line's a little bit, the little blokes, I don't think... I was going to ask you that, because well, you're a little bloke that played yeah. forward pop. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I don't think they do un- personally. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, I won't mention names, That's but right. you know, yep. they're, they're good defensive in what they do and tackling and all yeah, that, all that sort of yep. stuff. But you know, when it comes to kicking goals and getting possessions and being under the in the right position, in the right, in the right position? position, I don't think they're there yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so and, that's that, and that could probably hold us back in. Yeah, and we've all, and that's nothing new. Like we've we've said that. Like our small yeah. forwards are. It's one of the our lesser kind of like a little bit. You know, like they're not the. It's not the best part of our our team. Can I ask yeah. you something, Alex? Do you think that that can be coached and trained and and edu- Like, can a player be educated, or do you have to be the type of forward pocket that's just got that nous of knowing where to well, be at the right time like an Eddie Betts does for example well see he would have been per- in this side yeah. now oh, yeah. he would have been but he knows where to go he knows where to go yeah. Yeah. you got 10 Sten- years ago when Stengel he Stengel Geelong yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 another one yeah. Mate, he's well Eddie it. was coaching him last year at Geelong right. Shane Bolton at Richmond he's another Mate, one another yeah. one you know yeah, like yeah. The, these guys yeah, got we, that yeah. You, you have a couple of those guys no, in our forward line you know, and especially with Kerno and McKay. Yeah, oh, yeah. my God. Because yeah. you know, like, you know, if they don't mark it, they're bringing it down. They're bringing it down. Yeah. You, you'd have yeah. a field day there. Yeah. Yeah. You must look at McKay and Kerno and think, geez, I wish I could drive to yeah, that. Yeah, but they oh, had a couple of oh, good yeah, forwards. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, you had McClure and all McClure, that. But, but oh. really, and I know Ross Ditchburn was part of the 82 Premiership, but Carlton were never really known for their full no, forwards back never. then. No, no. Notice that? Yeah, yeah I, I, oh. 100%. You know, in fact, do you remember who played full forward in 79? Yeah, Peter Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Brownie, yeah. Yeah, Brownie. Yeah, but... And he went we, we, back to the back line when Jess Linko went that's off for the right. ankle that's injury. That's right, that's right. Mm. Yeah, but like, we never had a but, full but, forward because we mm. had all, you know, like... The Mosquito fleet. Well, We partly even mentioned the Mosquito yeah, fleet. Well, we, we averaged 1.3 goals a ga- each, each, pl- each of us. Each of you. So yeah. you've got six blokes out there. There's eight yeah. goals already before the game starts. And that's all we need. We should ask yeah, you to. That's, that's all we, we need. need. We need like those smaller, those mids, like that, that middle... Those middle players like a Silvani, Marta, or whoever wants to jump in there, Quite, and then yeah. those those small forwards. We need we need five, six goals out of them yeah, every yeah. game. Yeah, mm. you do. Well, that's and we're not right. getting that. We're not getting that. Yeah, not no. the moment. Not at the moment. But but if yeah. we do, yeah. if we do. I think that's that's the missing link. The amount there. of times in the in the 
early 80s to mid 80s oh, that's when I was starting to go to the football I was mad about Carlton you'd come back you know Ashman 3 Sheldon 3 yeah, yeah, Buckley yeah, yeah, 2 yeah, yeah. Marku there, 2 yeah, yeah. you know was there a little bit of a two, comp Johnson between you? Oh, the amount of times no, you guys were not a comp well, you, but not not like a niche, but would you look and go, mate, he's kick free, you know? No, nah, nah. nah, you're all happy. Yeah, we're all happy. That's no, good. Yeah, yeah, all happy. You know, back in those days, 15 goals was a bad day for Carlton. How's, you know what? I was speaking to, yeah, we averaged 21 goals a game in 79. Yep. Yeah. How's that? That's amazing. Amazing. I remember once, I think we beat Footscray out at Waverley. And they were saying in the rooms, I was listening to the radio, and they were saying, oh, it's a bit of a sombre mood down here in the Carlton rooms. And, and Harry Boss was like, oh, why is that? They've just won the game. Oh, because uh, they only managed to score 15 goals, 10... <laughs> no, no, sorry. Uh, they only managed... Uh, oh, sorry, 13, 12, 90. And it's the first game in something like... Oh, yeah, under 24 games that they'd scored under, under 100, 100 points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, remember yeah, that? Yeah, I remember that. I yeah, thought to yeah, myself... Yeah. How spoiled are we? Yeah. You know? Was good and we didn't even have oh, really recognised key position no, goal kicking forwards. It'd be very unusual for McClure to kick more than two or three. Yeah, yeah 100%. It was and always we never had a full forward. forward. Yeah. Never had a real full forward. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Who do you, who do you categorise as being in the Mosquito fleet? Because this is always a, another point yeah, of conjecture. Well, it's in the magazine. <laughs> it is in the magazine. Uh, you? Yeah. Kenny? Kenny. Ashy. Rod Ashman. Jono. Wayne Johnson. Jimmy Buckley. Jimmy Butler. And Harmsy. And Piggy. Yeah. And Harmsy. Yeah. Of course. Okay, so no Phil Malin? No Phil Malin. Phil Malin was in 81 and 82. Yeah, no oh, Phil Malin. Uh, and the AFL, I showed Rocco. Uh, yeah, we the, the AFL the did a thing on it. Yeah. And we we're in the um, 2015 grand final, yeah. and that was the Mosquito Fleet. Yeah. And the only other one that wasn't there was Trevor Keogh. Trevor Keogh, 79. Was, yeah, 79. He finished yeah. up at the end of 79 or 80? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, 80 he might have finished up. Yeah. Yeah, so he was at the end of his career when, when the Mosquito Fleet brand, brand. had, yeah. had, had uh, yeah. formulated. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, what a, what a collection of players oh. you guys were. Oh. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, it was. Well, Alex, 134 games, 146 goals. Is that right? 48. 48. <laughs> I love, oh, 48 it. I love it. I'm glad you corrected me there. <laughs> uh, for Carlton and um, a few more at St Kilda, but who yeah, cares? No, um, <laughs> triple Premiership player, yep. almost four time. In fact, if almost you had played in '87, you were in that team, weren't you? The '87 reserves team? No, '86. Sorry, '86 reserves team. Mate, that team that won a grand final that year killed. We played the doggies. Yeah, that's killed the game them. where Silvani was dropped. Stephen Silvani, a very dropped. young Stephen Silvani, he Silvani. was bawling his eyes out. He was. He was dropped for the grand yeah. final. Yeah. He played in that reserves grand final. He kicked. Yeah, he kicked six or seven. Yeah, goals. yeah, yeah, six goals, six or seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But in that reserves grand final, Ashy Bucks. Oh, mate, there was heaps of. Yeah, us. no, no, it was uh, full but of stars. It's full of stars, but mate, you're absolute. Uh, Ornaments of the game, as they say, yeah, and um, you know, you. a Carlton Hall of Famer and uh, one of our favourite sons. You were an absolute champion. Thanks, and, Vince. And a champion bloke. And everyone that knows you just knows how much of a fantastic guy you are. Thanks, mate. Vince. Good on you, mate. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, again, Alex, mate. mate. And Good don't day. forget, now, you on are. top of the tree of all of your credentials, you are a legend. Of the jumper, jumper punch. punch. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Go Blues! Go Blues! Go Blues! I'm dead and buried deep within a cemetery. I will fight, never weary. I want to be legendary. Till I'm dead and buried deep within a cemetery. I will fight, never weary. I want to be legendary.